With us now is Sally Hibbard from Oracle Animal Care Workshops and Pet Parties. Sally visits schools at all levels for educational workshops and she also provides pets and exotic animals for birthday parties. She is with us now to talk about all sorts of pets that are best suited to children. Good morning, Sally. Hi. Can we start off? Can I, can I hold this guy over sure. here? Oh, this is the best part of the job. Uh, what's his name? This is Sergeant Scalesworth. He's a bearded dragon. Okay, so I just hold him like this. Oh, yeah. he's a beautiful colour. How come he's so yellow? That's his happy colour. Okay, where's he going to go? Is he going to run? No, anyway. So what sort of care do you need to do for these fellas? Um, you need a terrarium with UV lights and um, heat lamps and a decent amount of space for him, but they're actually quite an easy care right. pet. How... probably one of the best types of lizards to keep as a pet. They are beautiful. Why is he such a beautiful colour? Well, he goes a bit darker sometimes, but he's, um, he's, I think he's just a bit pleased with himself today. Is he pleased to be sitting on my lap? <laughs> oh, I feel really, really special. This is great. I just get the best job ever. Okay, so I should put you back. What, Sergeant Scalesworth? Okay, you can go back into your, into your cage because I've got a whole heap of animals to get through here. I want to talk to you and I want to hold everything as well. Can, we, can I have a go with a mouse? Sure. What's his name? This is Scooter. Okay, Scooter. Do mice make good pets for kids? They do. Um, they're very small. So you need to supervise children to make sure there's no dropping, squeezing or anything like that. But, right. Um, Some people don't like little mice. Um, I think he's quite adorable. How long do they live for? About two. And what sort of care do they need? Um, they need a reasonable size cage, cleaning every two or three days. Um, any caged pet, you need to check its food and water right. a couple of times a day. That was the job that I had to do when I was a child. I had to clean out the mouse cage and that's how I get to keep mice. Yeah. So what else have you brought in for us to talk about? So we've got a, about? one of the more unusual pets, uh, Tortoise. This is Tortellini. Would you wow. like to I would love to have a hold of Tortellini. Is he a bit scratchy? A little bit, but so it doesn't, doesn't hurt. He's a tortoise. What's the difference quickly between a tortoise and a turtle again? A uh, tortoise lives on land and a turtle lives in the water, so a turtle's got flippers for feet. And what sort of sort of care does this little fella need? They're actually really easy to look after. You can even keep them in your backyard as long as it's secure. Really? Yeah. I don't think I'd trust that. He'd probably get accidentally squashed by a, a football or something. Right. Um, and how long does Tortellini live for? 75 years, so that's a long-term pet as opposed to... Right! The mouse. That's a pass it down to your grandkids kind of a pet really, isn't it? You have to put some serious thought before we get a tortoise. And we've got a guinea pig in here. <laughs> this is so fun. And then probably sort of middle of the road is um, about six to eight years for a guinea pig. Would you no, like a guinea I would pig on your lap? I would love to have a guinea pig on my lap. Now this little guy here, I've got a friend who is so into her guinea pig and she grooms him every night. Is he talking to me? Yeah. Is Usually when they talk? come out and we put them on Baby? cushions, um, they get fed. So that's his little chattery noise that he's um, he's demanding. A... And you think these make uh, guinea pigs make good? They make great pets, yeah. And it's good for kids to hold them like you're holding them now with a cushion or a folded up towel on their lap rather than sort of carting them around. But they're a nice interactive little pet to have. Do they need special, do they need a, a partner guinea pig? They're quite social, so it's good to have at least two of them. Could you put them with a bunny or not? Um, it can be a bit tricky. So some Bunnies can be best nasty, not can't they? They, can. they really can. Yeah. Okay. He, what's his name? Um, that is um, Sergeant Squirrel. Sergeant Squirrel. Yeah, because you're a guinea pig, today. she's just confusing you really, isn't she? Yeah, there you go. Go back, Sergeant Squirrel. So there's so many Thank great you. pets that you brought in. I mean, what would you, in your ideal world, what do you think children, if they go to mum and dad, mum, I want to get something, what would be a good thing for them to get? Well, all of these pets would actually be fine as long as it's a pet that they're really interested in and they're prepared to do a bit of research and that the, um, the parent can be a backstop for the pet And they've got to keep as them as well. well. So tell me quickly about your pet parties. What happens there? They're loads of fun. So um, they're educational as well as fun. So we take a variety of animals out to people's places or they come to us. And we do activities with each, each of the pets. With the guinea pigs, we're grooming them. We're feeding the tortoises, hand feeding lizards. Do you do those loads parties for grown-ups as well? Yes, we do. <laughs> Quite a lot of them. Excellent. That is very good to know. Thank you so much, Sally. Thank That's you. been so much fun. Thank you for bringing in some of your amazing animals. Now, for more information about the pet party and animal education services that Sally offers, check out her website.